Stella Queens, the Mpakanga group which was established in 1964 during the apartheid era and grew popularity then. They've performed in numerous countries, essentially backing vocalists for Simon Maslatin and Gabinde. The legendary Queens, who have wowed audiences around the world for several decades now, also share the stage with the late jazz legend Hugh Masekela on so many occasions. And one track which comes to mind when mentioning the two giants is Mabamanzense. They join <laughs> us in studio to share more on the memories they shared with Oprah Hugh. A very good morning to you, ladies. Thank you so much for joining us. And welcome. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> now I'm, I'm, I'm going to start with you. Uh, was it just last year when you guys uh, uh, toured with uh, Huma Segela and uh, the dollar brand Ibrahim, uh, you know, uh, Abdullah Ibrahim toured Europe? Do you still remember the Legends on Tour concert? No, that was not the first time. The first time when we performed with Brahu, that was uh, in, 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 in London at the Wembley Stadium. When, when the London, they, they did a Mandela con a birthday. They were, we were celebrating okay. Mandela birthday. In, in, in London. That was the first time we saw Brahu and the late Miriam Makeba. Okay. And then, you know, we've performed several times with Brahu yeah. overseas. We performed with Brahu in Switzerland, 2010. We've performed with Brahu 2008 in France, Paris. We've performed with Brahu in England. We've performed so many shows with Brahu. Oh, nice. We've done a lot with him. And which one was the last one, your, your last international gig with him? If I, if I have to remember very well, the last, the last one was in England. It's just that I cannot remember which year, but that was the last one that we did with Brahu overseas. Right. Yes. Now, you guys travel a lot with him uh, overseas. How was his uh, fan base overseas? No, these are small guys <laughs> for now. They know nothing Oh, they haven't as yet. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, you travel extensively with him overseas. How is his fan base? Aish. You know what, guys, I cannot say, I, you, you know, when we talk about Brahu, I really get disturbed and yeah. really great. It's like I can cry yeah. because really what we did with Brahu and what he, he was doing with us, the performances that we did with him, that what he was doing with us, it was like really people overseas, they, would, they kept on saying, guys, we want you more and more with with Brahu. Yeah. Actually, if it was according to the promoters up abroad, they wanted us to be a band, one band with him. Sure. Unfortunately, it could have happened, it couldn't happen. And at the same time, if I have to remember very well, he still wanted to record with us mm. a lot of songs. Okay. He really wanted to do a lot of work with us, Brahu. Yeah. Yeah. And, so, and uh, we've heard so many people sharing uh, recollections and the fondest memories they shared with Brahu. What is your fondest memory? <laughs> Let me, if I have to tell you, bro, you was a strict person. Really? Yeah, bro, you was a strict person. With bro, you, you wouldn't just do anything that you wanted to do or just uh, uh, decide for him what he must do or what. No, in fact, how would you have decided for, for bro, you being a legend, being a hero, being the first musicians in South Africa? Mm. You wouldn't, bro, you was a very strict and person when it comes up to work. Yeah. He didn't want you to do funny things. I think I've seen that side of him. Did well, you right? see that? <laughs> he have. was really strict with them. And fortunately, with us, he, he, he loved working with us because he was like saying, you guys, you, you are what I want. To, you are the right people that I want to be right, with. Right. Yes, you, you, you're following my instructions. You are the type of the people that I would love to, right, to work right. with, really. I know you haven't worked uh, with you, uh, but how has he influenced you in one way or the mm. other? Well, uh, Brahu, uh, to me personally, because he's a legend, uh, it has been quite an honor to know him, mm. not personally, but because now I've, I've been introduced with, uh, to the Mahotela Queens, who are also legends in this country. Mm. So, uh, thinking back of uh, what he has done uh, in the music industry, I think it is, it is quite an honor. Right, yeah, right. Mm. An honor. And how has he influenced you? Mm. Well, I was fortunate enough to work with him when we were in Moscow. Oh, really? okay. oh, yeah. Moscow, yes. So it's a great loss, uh, you know, because he was a very funny man as well. Mm. He had a lot of humor. Yeah, and... wicked sense of humor. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll. It's a great loss to the country and the whole world nice. at large because, like, I could see the reception mm. that he was getting, you know way we we're in Muscat, like they loved mm. him so much as mm. much as the Mahotela Queens. You know, they very loved abroad, 
compared to here at home. Like the yeah. embracement that they receive there, I just wish they can get that here yeah. at home as well. And uh, well, one of the many projects you worked with Brahi was the 2010 FIFA World Cup game. Yes. Tell us more about that. My God, that's that that, 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 that that's the one that I, I was talking about 2010 in Switzerland. We we travelled so many places with him in in 2010. If I have to remember, it's just that unfortunately I cannot remember the, the, the name of the place where we were performing. 2010 AVO something show. Okay. Yeah, that was on the mountain. It was like the stadium was next to the mountain. And the first thing that he said to, to us was, guys, make no mistake, don't just disappear. Don't go to the mountain and, and, <laughs> and think that you are at home. Because at home you like going to the mountains. You say, Sientabe, you don't do that. Yeah, you stay here and yeah. yeah, be around with me. That trip, we've traveled so many. We went to Germany with him in 2010. We went to Switzerland, we went to Paris. We went to so many places with him. Guys, I must say, it's a big loss and we've really, it's a, really a big loss and we still wanted to work more and more with him. And he was certainly a person who was never shy to voice out no. uh, just how proud of an African he is. How no. was it like performing with him global, on the global stage? In performing with Bra Brahu on a global stage abroad in, with us, it was like, my God, we felt great, like, my God, we are really on top. If we are performing with a top guy like Huma Sikel abroad, my God, it was, we really felt like very much important and really felt so much uh, uh, that we are really respected also if we, they have to call us and perform with him. Really we felt very much decent. Performing with Brayu, it was, it was a pleasure, it was a blessing in any way. It, it was, was really a blessing. Performing all those top musicians, it was a blessing. Performing with that guy. Yeah. yeah. Now, what's that one thing that you have learned from Brayu since you've just broken into the industry? Well, um, uh, the thing that I've learned, it, it was first to respect your craft, uh, know the purpose of, of, of mm. yourself being mm. in the industry. You don't just go there uh, just for entertainment, but you go there just to send a message because uh, Bob Rahu, Libo Mama, back then, they, they, their music has influenced Even us now. a lot mm. because like, whenever they write music, you would learn. Like you, you don't just go mm. and just write a, any song. You get a message from the song. Mm. So that's how they actually uh, to, uh, they they were telling stories mm. through their music. So uh, that's what I've learned more from okay. them. Mm. And Brahu being a jazz musician, oh, like you know, yeah. the, you know. So yeah. Now you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for being part of the mm. show and for paying tribute to such a legend. We really appreciate your time. Eh? Thank, thank you, you really. Much. We really thank you also for inviting us. All right. To that. That was the Mahotela Queens who performed a stunning set that we've seen earlier. And they are an award-winning vocal trio that has wielded enormous influence on the musical life of South Africa. They just paid tribute to a friend and fellow musician, Ibrahim Masigela. Do stay tuned to Morning Lafa for more performances from them.